Hello everybody and welcome back to Brackets Academy. Uh, in this video I will be showing you guys how you can make a, how you can implement a QRV card inside your Ionic application or inside your Angular web application. Uh, so for those of you who don't know what a V card is, a uh, V card is basically an electronic business card also known as a virtual contact file and it is a file format standard for creating uh, electronic business card. And the idea here is for you to have a QR code within your Ionic application. And when somebody scans that QR code with a smartphone, the data that's stored inside that QR code will be transferred into the scanner's contact list, therefore creating a contact. So this is the final product for today. And if you want to learn how to do this, let's get started. So after we generate our uh, Ionic uh, project, uh, next step, we're going to head over to this URL right here and we're going to install Angular 2 QR code library. So let's do it right now, dash dash save. While that is installing, we can import our module into our app.module file right here. We're going to pass it into our imports and we can grab this template right here and put it into our home.html file. And in the value attribute here, we're going to pass in a, our uh, variable, which we're going to call vcard data. And for the size now, we're going to leave it at 150. So inside our home.ts file, we're going to create the property vcard data, which is going to be a type string. And we're going to leave it empty for now. And inside our, inside our ng after view init, we're going to build our object. So in the meantime, let's uh, Ionic serve. Let's serve our application. And let's start building our object that we're going to pass into our QR code. So let name. This is our application. So let name, we're going to call it John. We're going to have also surname, John Doe. Oh. Next, we can add an organization. Let's say that he's working at Google uh, URL. Let's go www.google.com. Next up, we're going to give him an email. John at google.com. And lastly, we're going to have his telephone number. So, a telephone equals 0011222333. So, this is the object we're going to pass into our QR code. So. We're going to start building now the, the vCard information. So inside our vCard data property here, we're going to pass in the values from our object. So this.vCard data equals. And now we're going to start building our uh, vCard um, file format. So we start with the word begin colon vCard. And then in the next line, but here we got to make sure that, that the start of, of our next line starts at the beginning of the line uh, in order for this to work. So we're going to add the word version uh, 3.0. 3.0 is the most widely used version of uh, vCard out there. So next we have n uh, colon, which means uh, your name and your surname. So we're going to pass that values right here. Um, and next line, we're going to have the uh, FN. FN means um, uh, how the contact will be displayed inside your contact list. So it's going to be the same for us, uh, name and surname. So in the next line, we're going to have the organization colon. We're going to pass in the organization. Um, next line, we're going to have the URL. So it's probably going to pass in the URL right here. And in the next line, we're going to have the email colon, and we, give the, we will pass the email here. And in the last line, we're going to have the telephone. So here in the telephone, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to add a semicolon, and we're going to specify the type of the telephone. So for example, is it a voice or work phone or whatever? So we're going to say voice uh, colon work phone, and also the word uh, pref, which means the preferred contact, and then colon, and then we can pass in the telephone. So now we built our uh, 
uh, vCard data. And last, to finish our uh, vCard information, we're going to add the word end colon vCard. So we're going to save that and go to our browser. Uh, our application has refreshed, and we're going to try and scan this and see if it's uh, if if it's going to work. So I'm scanning this right now. And it seems that, yep, correct. I have the contact and I'm going to save it now. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you everyone for uh, being part of this video. I hope you learned something new today and something interesting. Uh, also, if you want to learn more, I'll have some links down in the description, including a link to my blog. And uh, please like, share and subscribe if you like this video. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys.